Hi everyone and welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over to see this brand new cleaning video. As you can tell, I definitely needed to work in my house a little bit. It's not terrible, but it's enough that it was driving me crazy. So everything just needs to get picked up, wiped down, vacuumed, all the things, right? My kitchen is kind of the same thing. It's not too, too bad, but it's bad enough that it was bugging me and I just need to get back on track. So putting away those big things, some small things, putting away the fall decor I'm not going to use, and finishing putting out the fall decor I am going to use. So there's lots of key motivation in this video. So as you can tell, I have a little bit of a helper with me today, and I love this helper. Oh my goodness. And it's just so great when you're um, doing something and um, you can have your kids jump in and do a lot of the little things as well. And I think that makes it um, so nice and really like we end up having really good conversations and I just love it. So um, he is always welcome to help me and I never turn down help. You guys know, you know how I am. But I needed to get all this dusting done. If you've been around for a while, you know how I am about dusting. I feel like my house is clean when I dust it. I have no idea why. Um, I know some people feel like if they have vacuum lines on the floor and things like that, they feel like their house is clean. But I feel like if I go around and I dust my house, that that means it is clean. And um, you'll notice that sometimes I use the Norwex cloth um, without anything, just with water, which you definitely can do. And sometimes when I really want to, uh, I guess, satisfy my OCD, I will use, um, you know, like method or like this wood for good spray that I use that I love because I really want that scent of everything being clean as well. So I kind of go back and forth depending on my mood. Today I really wanted to get everything back to normal and just have that really nice satisfaction at the end where I feel like everything is clean and that's why I did use the wood for good as well. So you'll see um, that there's tons of uh, good motivation and I would love to hear what is your thing that you do that makes your house feel so clean to you because I know we all have that one thing. So disclaimer here in just a minute you will see that things look clean on the outside and then are not so clean when you pull the furniture away. So this was so crazy. I pulled um, this bookcase out and realized that I had tons of dust on the floor. I don't really know how long it's been since I pulled the bookcase out and you can see that there was Nerf guns and everything. And I never show this kind of stuff and I thought, you know what, it's real life. Let me show what I really found because that was like surprise for me too. So I went through after that and I I think I vacuumed every inch of the hardwood that I could find because I was so paranoid about that. But I know I had not um, moved that bookcase in quite a while, so I wasn't too surprised either. But you know what? We can't beat ourselves up about those type of things. We just have to go on and say, hey, it's clean and it's good and that's okay. don't know I homeschool my child and I only have one child but we do homeschool and we have this stuff up from a science unit that we did at the end of last year and I had just kind of left it up and this was a timeline that he had made as well so um, we were getting ready to start school and um, we we're gonna start a whole new unit in science we we're gonna start marine biology so I really wanted to have kind of a fresh slate so we had to take down all those vocabulary words and the timeline and 
it was kind of bittersweet, but what can you do? We homeschool in our dining room, so it kind of serves multiple purposes, and right now it has tons of homeschool stuff on it. So it's just kind of the price you pay when you homeschool too. So um, I had to kind of get us back to a fresh slate and that as well. for coming over and watching another cleaning video. I hope this gave you some much needed cleaning motivation and I just love these before and afters. I think it's the most satisfying part of the video because I know sometimes we can watch really long cleaning videos and if you don't have kind of this before and after you don't get that sense of satisfaction. So I hope this gave you that rewarding feeling as much as it did for me and thank you guys for hanging out while I got my house back to normal. We have since been in school for um, a few weeks now and everything is going very, very well. And so stay tuned for some more cleaning motivation in my next video. Bye for now.